Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, I want to talk about preparation. I woke up this morning at 5.45 to a bunch of emails that were concerning to me regarding business. Um, and it got me thinking about preparation. You know, musicians prepare, athletes prepare, magicians prepare, uh, motivational speakers prepare. The theme for most of these people is that successful people are prepared. That's just the way that it is. When I was younger, I was extremely impulsive. Um, I thought I knew better than everybody. So what was the purpose of preparing for anything? Um, I, okay. So there are different kinds of preparation. I, you know, obviously, you know, most of you know, I grew up in New Jersey, um, where we have hurricanes and lots of snow, but tornadoes, not so much. Um, a few years ago when Charlie was five and a half months old, maybe six months old, um, Michael was away on business and I woke up to the sound, like what sounded like a garbage truck flying around the back of my house. 5.30 in the morning, still dark. I open the curtain, this curtain right here, and a lawn chair smashes into the window and it was unlike anything I had ever seen before. So I call Michael, he answers the phone and I say, I think there's a tornado in the backyard. He's like, no way. I'm like, Michael, I've never seen a tornado, but I'm telling you, I think there's a tornado. He's like, get the kids and get in the basement. I, I was so panicked that I stood there as a mom. I heard the words, but I couldn't move staring at essentially what was an actual tornado coming through my backyard. By the grace of God, it didn't touch my house, but it ripped all the trees from my backyard and destroyed homes and businesses all along its path where I live. Alabama was devastated by these tornadoes. We, the Sullivans, were not prepared at all. Zero preparation. Zero. I had a, a freezer full of frozen breast milk. For those of you that have ever pumped breast milk, like hundreds of ounces of breast milk defrosted and had to be thrown away. Do you want to talk about like anguish? Um, it was excruciating. No power for days. We had no generator. We had to leave and go to a hotel. I mean, we just had zero preparation. There were other people prepared for this type of disaster. People who knew that Alabama was subjected to the occasional tornado um, and were prepared. I felt envious of their preparation. I am usually more of a forward thinker than that, but tornadoes are not my thing. So there are being prepared for natural disasters, but there are, then there's the ne next level of preparation where you know, you are taking care of your family. Are you prepared for you or your husband or your, or your, your wife to have a fall, an accident, a job loss, these types of things? Are you really prepared for the curveballs that life throws at you? Um, what about a teenage daughter coming home saying she's pregnant? Are there any, is there ever a way to be prepared for things like this? I think so. I think forward thinking and um, taking out proper insurance and saving money for a rainy day and keeping a balanced checkbook, things like that. But preparation for me is key with anything you are going to do with your life. Whether it's blessings come to those who are truly ready, right? We know that. The only way to get truly ready is to be prepared. If you are going to confront someone, if you are going to file for divorce, if you are going to ask someone to marry you, if you are going to buy a new home, if you are going to uh, interview for a job, all of these things require a certain level of preparation. You should always be forward thinking enough to play different scenarios out in your mind. I am going to confront my spouse about cheating. Well, how prepared are you? 
If you're just going to blindly um, accuse them, that's probably not going to go well. But if you've done your research, if you have proof, if you've if you can discuss through scenarios about how your relationship has changed, how they've become different, why you believe this to be the case, you can then intercept any sort of roadblocks they throw at you. You're going to interview for a job. Did you do your research on the company? Are you prepared for the type of people? Do you know the type of people they hire? How about the questions that they ask? Any materials they may need for you to bring? I mean, you're not just going to walk into an interview with your fabulous self and go like, I'm here. I don't really know what you do or who you are, but I need a job. I have had kids come to interview me. I try to give younger people a chance who are interested in public relations to interview me about being a publicist or Jersey Bell or Coffee Talk or whatever. Um, and some of them are so well prepared. I think, oh, you are going to do so well at life. I'm so proud of you. And I try to tell them that. Others come in and they start out asking me, so you're from New Jersey. And I think, oh, this isn't going to go well. This kid has no idea what they're doing. Um, preparation is life security. Preparation is life security. In any scenario, put the work in. Prepare yourself. Play the scenario through. Think about roadblocks. Think about things they may ask you, materials that you may need, survival kits, money for a rainy day. Whatever it is, be prepared because in preparation comes confidence and security and success. The most successful people are prepared. I'm leaving for New York on Thursday and I have a series of meetings for different aspects of my business. This whole week, aside from doing PR for my clients, I will spend every free moment I have preparing. I'll over prepare if I have to. I want to know as much as I can about every single person I'm speaking to, meeting with, what are they like? Who have they? Ca- if they've cast someone in a sh- TV show before, I want to know who and why. I you, preparation for me is everything. I over prepare, probably to a fault, but again, it's where I get most of my confidence from. I was not always a preparer, but it is only now in success, to the degree that I've had it, that I see the value in preparation. I used to look at people who were prepared. And be like, wow, you got a lot of time on your hands, huh? No. They just use their time wisely. It's time management and preparation is, is the recipe for both personal and professional success. Because if you're going to confront somebody, right? You're going to confront them. You want to play out every single thing they can throw at you. Do they know a secret that they may turn around and throw at you? Are they going to try to make excuses? Are they going to try to talk you out of it? Whatever it is, if you are prepared for every scenario, you will be successful. I'm interested to know, do, are you a preparer? Do you fly by the seat of your pants? What types of things do you do to prepare? Because these comments are how we learn and grow. And so many people have messaged me and said, dude, I, I think I like the comments more than I like the coffee talk. Just kidding. Um, Really and truly, preparation in any scenario in your life. It's not to say that things can't pop up. Obviously, things do. Accidents happen. People walk away. But when my father died, real quick, and I'll end it here. When my father died, my mother had four children and no clue how to balance a checkbook. My father did everything. So... She was, even though he was sick for six months with cancer, she was unprepared. She did not spend the time that he was sick using her free time to prepare at all. I think part of her was in denial and part of her just was afraid. But it is crucial in life that you prepare so you can be successful for the curveballs that life throws at you. I love you today. Have a great day.